What is up guys and welcome back to another re-challenge video with me, The Real Deal. So I'm back, I'm still on paternity at the moment. Um, my son was born on the 25th of September, 3.50 a.m. GMT UK time. And yeah, what could I say? It's been absolutely an amazing experience. I'm absolutely loving being a dad. It's been great spending so much time with my wife and him. It's all been like a real family and really gelling together. It's been great. Um, it's a huge adjustment in lifestyle though, um, as I'm sure all the parents out there already know. Um, but yeah, just before we start pulling some soul stones though, I do want to sort of tell a funny story about him from the other day. Um, so basically, I um, was going into our bedroom, he was in the crib, and he's sort of asleep. But as I sort of go into the room, sort of one eye just sort of starts looking at me, and he's got one eye open. And I get a little bit closer, and he just does this horrendous loud fart sound. I'm just like, oh no. And then I get a little bit closer and then there's a smell. There's a smell in the air and I'm just like, okay, I know what's going on here. And then as soon as I sort of go to pick him up, he just like closes, closes his eye and straight back to sleep. And I'm like, okay, daddy need, daddy needs to deal with this. But um, yeah, enough about stinky nappies. Uh, that's that's not what we're here for. Um, we're going to be pulling some soul stones today. Um, and yeah, I, this also, you know, I haven't pulled any soul stones for about three to four weeks now. Um, so this sort of gives you an idea of how many you can get over that sort of time period if you're end game. Um, if you're early to mid game, you don't want to be touching the Iron Twins. It is definitely more for end game content and you're just going to be wasting energy. Um, and it, it's sort of a bit of a trap as well, I'd say. Um, it's definitely like a trap for newer players. If you're a newer player, you want to six star your champions, uh, get their masteries, uh, work on clan boss. Those are like your top priorities and dungeons and gear gear is really important as well so those are like your main focus iron twins that is way further down the line don't worry about it for now you will get there eventually um but this gives you an idea of what an end game player will get so sundays i'm making sure that i um spend like 190 gems on being able to do void because void gives double the amount of rewards so it's definitely worth investing in so i'm doing that um but also sort of here and there where i can like in tournaments and stuff i'm getting extra sort of coins and uh, souls as well, soul stones that we can pull. So let's just start blowing them and I'm really hoping I get something that I really want. Like I definitely need um, to start awakening some champions. So fingers crossed we get someone decent um, so I can really start a boost. Oh, a legendary straight off the bat, Mithrala. Oh my God, I will take it. She is, she is one of my favorite champions. I'm sure you all know, but she is an absolute beast. Rest of them not really interested in Gerard though. I do like him. Um, not an amazing champion, but he's a he smacks. He is an awesome epic uh, single target smacking champion. Tesla, she's okay. Coldheart, great champion. Love Goldheart. Um, definitely will be awakening her. But it's all about the legendaries at the end of the day. That's what we're really here for. Come on. So, oh, Sinesha, great champion. Cool. But yeah, Mithrala, though, great, great pull. Like, I'm definitely putting Brimstone on her because, um, yeah, she that will really help on the Iron Twins. Another Cold Heart. Well, I've got three. Oh, who have we got? Oh, my God. Hep, Hepfrak. I don't have this champion, but I'm definitely holding to this Soulstone because he is just an absolute boss. And if I ever do get him... And because he's like a sacred, you know, he's like um, not void. It's probably quite easy to get him. So I've got not enough space. So I'm just going to have to clear some space. Give me a minute. And we're back, baby. So let's go. Another legendary. Abbess. I don't have her. Another. Fushan. I do have a Fushan. Fushan. I don't use him at the moment. But I know he is a really good champion and definitely worth investing in. So I will be uh, awakening him. Another soul stone for Ugo. Kutrax, I don't have. Um, probably never will get, but you never know. Another legendary. Biggin, <laughs> I don't have. Oh, oh, oh. No, no one here worth keeping. Taragi, decent. Jareg, decent. Uh, 
No, nothing, nothing there. Solbon Boyer is worth keeping though. Rest of them can jog on. Nothing but blue. Who we got? Who we got? Oh, Ragash. I don't have. Um, I didn't um, do the fusion for him. So let's just collect these. Cool. Look at all that. Nice. Okay. Let's do some immortal soul stones as well. Mm, come on. Okay. It's epic. Oh, Artur, I don't have. Well, I do have. I just don't use him. Trash. Legendary. Another Mithrala. Three. Oh, my God. I'm hoping I can use that on the... F I think... Have I already got four or three? Let's see. Let's see. A Cold Brawler. He's decent for Clan Boss if you use him. Definitely uh, put... Uh, oh, you can't put Brimstone on him. But, um, yeah, I think... Well, oh, my God. Oh, my Gaelic. My most hated champion. Definitely won't be... Uh, be selling, I'll be selling those ones a hundred percent. Zolta, don't use him, definitely not worth. Come on, one more legendary. Ugh. Mystic Hand, no, thank you. Eternal Soulstone, here we go. Come on, someone big. Let's get a game changer. No, who did we get? Light Swarm. I know he's decent. But I never really use him in any content. There is stuff that you can like cheese with him because of his um, revive on death. But yeah, do not use him though, unfortunately. Okay, so um, just to show you, so soul stones, what I would do, just to show you how I would do it. So literally sell, 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 sell. All these rares can pretty much go. Deem Screecher, I hold on to because you can actually use him in arena. Uh, War Priest, I'm going to keep because you can use her in secret rooms. Bella is decent as well. All the rest can be sold. So on by uh, is useful as well. Frozen Banshee's got a use. So I'm going to hold on to those ones. But all the rest pretty much can be sold. Jingle Hunter. I don't know why. There's something about that guy that I just do not like. But yeah. So literally. I'm going to hold on to all my Gaelic. Even though I hate him. Just because um, there's sometimes like spider torments um, where you have to use that faction. And Ultimate Gaelic is the only champion that can burn, like HP burn. So it's probably worth just holding on to him. So yeah, sell all those. And Mystic Market, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to spend spend my dosh on. Um, and yeah, so let's see. So... Great. Okay, so that's how it works. Basically, you can't, you can't like so. Basically, mine was empowered by two, and you can't just do add three on. It only goes up to three, which is pretty lame, to be fair. Um, I do get a bit of reimbursement, but it's a bit of a piss take, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about that, to be honest. Um, dislike, but I don't know. There's, I do kind of like the way awakening works because it's sort of. A bit. I don't like this RNG, but it also does give excitement to the game. However, I just think the way the system's just completely busted, and it's just another sort of money grabbing scheme from Plarium, which it does frustrate me, it does annoy me. Um, but yeah, um, that is pretty much the end of the video. So we've got some decent champions there. Um, let's see who did who did I empower. So yeah, we've got Mithrala, three star. So yeah, she's great for Arena. So yeah, definitely empowering her. Um, who else did we empower today? So uh, Bedrol, I use for um, Hydra. Um, great, great champion for that. Um, sort of really good for the head of Mistrift. So yeah, definitely going to be invested in Tim. Sinesha, great as well. Um, and Ugo, so I actually get one for Ugo, but... To be honest, one one blessing isn't really gonna like do too much to her. Um, like with a legendary, like for example with uh, like Ninja, having Brimstone is gonna increase his damage so much for Hydra. Even though I think it's like a twenty percent chance of landing on one star, that is gonna increase his damage tenfold. So definitely worth it. 
And when you sort of get around five stars, that's really going to boost his damage. But anyway, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps my channel grow. And I really do appreciate all your love and support. And, you know, while you're at it, throw in there a cheeky, cheeky uh, thumbs up as well while you're at it. And, yeah, I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Peace.